Hello my friends of YouTube, today I'm bringing you a new tutorial to show you how you get your EP address and your default gateway address. It's pretty easy, you just need your command prompt and a little command and it will bring you everything up so you can know it and use it in your PS3 network or anything you need it for. So, what you need to do is just open your command prompt that you can get it right here like you got Windows 7, just look for here CMT or command prompt yeah or you can just press windows in your keyboard and r bring you this out just write cmd go enter will bring you the command prompt out this is what you need so the only thing you're gonna type in is ep config ip config and go enter I'll bring you all this up and actually what you, the only things you need is this part in here because all this is just like information that you don't really need to make anything like it's just trash but this is your real information this is your EP address and this is your default gateway address but you need to know that these addresses are just like in your internal network in your internal internet network so it's not gonna function if you wanna access your router or your computer from other place. If you wanna access your computer from other place, you'll need your one EAP address that I'll show you later how you get it. But yeah, this is how you get your EAP address and your default gateway. And sometimes maybe when you're mm, making up your PS3 network or your PS2 network or things like that, like new electronics you got and they ask you for EP address they will also ask you for other information and this is how you get it. you get your command prompt get it here and you're gonna type in IP config space slash all you can see it here I'm gonna go enter you will see like at the first time you will see it will bring up a lot, of, a lot of more information actually this is trash but like from here an app it will be the things you're, that will be helpful so do your default gateway your DHCP servers that you could use them sometimes and this is the most important things this is your, the name of your host around the network that's it's HP mine is HP I'm gonna tell you uh, like the name that is using it around your net internet network this is the name of your internet controller and the if DHCP servers are enabled yes like blah 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 and here you get your IP address here your subnet mask that sometimes could be helpful and then you go down here and this is really important the DNS servers many like electronics when you're creating your network they ask you for DNS servers and let's say 90% of the people don't know how to get their DNS server so this is a really easy form of getting it so yeah now I'm gonna show you how to get your one address so the only thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your default gateway address that is 192 actually most of the times is 192.168.0.1 just gonna go to the web browser and write it here we'll go to your web browser and write it here and go enter most of the times it's gonna bring you this out you know go like this and usually if you haven't made changes it will be the default password and the default username if you don't know it you can just go to Google and look for default router passwords. And it will bring you up a lot of web pages where you can get your default passwords and yeah, you can get in. So here is N. So mine is Motorola, so this is where you're gonna get up, but maybe some of new newest routers will just bring you your one address in here maybe not like you can just look for it here you go base look here it says 
LAN, LAN means internal, like internal of your internet network. This is the like the address of the router internally, and one IP address is this one. I'm not gonna show mine, but it will be here. And this one is the one you will use to access your router all around the world, just having internet and but before you access your router you cannot just like leave your home and using it you will need to come here and go to advanced or setup and enable your remote control access and then you could do it it's pretty good because you could like uh, a stop host or maybe make uh, internet connections with ports you're really good you can use it all are really good so yeah that's all Thank you my friends of YouTube for watching my video, my tutorial. I hope you like it and it was useful for you. And remember, tutorialist.s.com, learn with us. Subscribe to our channel and remember if you need uh, to know anything about anything of internet, just send us an email and we'll do the tutorial for you. Thank you friends of YouTube for watching my video.